Hey Yankees fans, how's it going? It is Felix from NYNews.com. I'm sorry for the lack of videos lately. One of my cats died. He was 16 years of age. I got him cremated. I also got like a new kitten to replace him because I do have another cat. And he's about like two years old now. So I wanted to get him a buddy. So this is why I haven't been uploading videos. But don't feel sorry for me. That cat lived a great life and he will be greatly missed. So Yankees fans, if you saw the game today, you saw that the manager of the Yankees, Aaron Boone, had a little misstep. I saw a lot of Yankees fans, even if they were being sarcastic, calling for the firing of Aaron Boone already, which is quite laughable. I saw polls as well saying, is uh, Aaron Boone going to be fired by the trade deadline? Is he going to be fired after this season? But folks, that mistake leaving Robertson in to face Smoke after intentionally walking Donaldson, noodle arm Donaldson, the only positive from this, folks, is that it happened early in the season, a mistake like this. Obviously, Smoke has been killing the Yankees. You're going to pitch to a player that's been destroying your team all series long. Yes, that was a mistake. He was looking at the analytics, seeing that Robertson had good numbers against Smoke. He was like 0 for 5 against him. So that's where Aaron Boone was coming from. But if you ask me, he overmanaged in that situation. But in my opinion... The only positive outcome from this situation is that it happened early in the season. He will learn from his mistakes. In my opinion, it was great that it happened this early. People are holding Boone's feet to the fire. Now he knows what it feels like to manage in New York. I'm pretty sure Girardi was having a laugh at uh, Boone's expense. But yeah, man, he's a new manager. New managers are going to make mistakes like this. Aaron Boone is an experiment in progress. Aaron Boone has never managed before. Aaron Boone is going to have his positives and his negatives. We saw his negatives today. Obviously, the Yankees had that game won. But then again, folks... The Yankee starting rotation is not giving the Yankees the innings that they're looking for. So don't blame the bullpen for giving or allowing so many runs. It's still early in the season. Sonny Gray, in my opinion, is one of the best number four pitchers in all of baseball, obviously pitching at that four slot. He's more of a three or number two, or maybe like, Supposedly, people think he's an ace, a number one starter. But Gray, he only allowed one run, right? But he didn't give the Yankees the innings they were looking for. This is why Aaron Boone had to go to his bullpen. And this is how you saw the Yankees give up that lead. So we can't blame the bullpen. We can't blame Boone. Like I said, Boone is a new manager. We have to support him in these tough times instead of bashing him. In my opinion, if it was Joe Girardi, let's say managing in his 11th season or something like that, then yes, a manager like Girardi should be destroyed, absolutely destroyed for making a move like that. But since it's Boone, since he's a new manager, we have to cut him some slack. Also, the Yankees brought him in to be a analytic guy. It's just a perfect example of how analytics can be deceiving numbers. Obviously, Smoke was just destroying the Yankees, killing them. He was 0 for 5. This is why Boone intentionally walked Donaldson to face Smoke because he was 0 for 5 facing Robertson. So that's where analytics, in my opinion, can be deceiving. And look, it cost the Yankees the game. That's a game they could have won. And really, folks... When it comes down to the end of the season, these games might affect the Yankees. When let's say if the Red Sox and the Yankees are competing for first place 
or competing to win the L East. Games like that count, and these are games that the Yankees could have won and should have won. So yeah, again, in that instance, stats and analytics did not pay off. I'm pretty sure Aaron Boone's gut feeling was to have Robertson pitch to Donaldson, noodle arm Donaldson. But like I said, the Yankees brought him in to be a analytic guy, follow directions, because that's why the Yankees signed him in the first place. They were basically copying what the Houston Astros and all these other organizations were doing concerning analytics. But after this game, does Aaron Boone have more control in following his gut? If I were the Yankees, I would give Aaron Boone that privilege and really stop relying on looking at stats. So, folks, like I said, it's going to be a long season. Give Aaron Boone a chance. The Yankees have a great team. But like I said, we all thought that the bullpen was going to be the number one weapon for the New York Yankees, and they have absolutely stunk up the place. But like I said, it's early in the season, folks. We have nothing to worry about. Like I said, in my opinion, Aaron Boone was just following protocol. I know for a fact if he was following his gut instincts, he would have let Robertson pitch to Donaldson. So there you have it, folks. Also, for the people that are looking for my social media accounts, they are in the description of my videos. All of the links are there. So, Yankees fans, we have nothing to worry about. The Yankees, in my opinion, are going to sweep the Rays. They're going to take that two-game set. And, in my opinion, they're going to do well against the Orioles. Who knows? The Orioles might give them a hard time like the Blue Jays did. I mean, you can't sleep on these teams, folks. The Yankees need to be solid when it comes to pitching. This is what I told everybody this offseason. I said, I don't care who you have on your team. You could have literally God batting in your lineup, but if you don't have pitching, that's just going to kill your ball club, folks. So, Yankees fans, this has been Felix from NumberOneNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. I will check you out next time.